What's going on everybody? It's Dennis again and what we're going to do today is something a little different. This is a complete noob video. Like I'm going to just call it the unofficial average Joe's guide to spoofing on Android. Okay. So this device was made so it's more like the average person's device. No fancy rooting is going on here. This device is not rooted at all. Let me go ahead and bring up my Android version so you guys can see what I'm working with. Okay, here I am, here I am on Android 8.1.0, that's Oreo, with the August 5th, 2018 security patch. Now this video is going to be more for the guys that they just don't want to get involved with rooting or anything, and their security patch just so happens to be newer than the March 2017 security patch. So if you have Android 6, 7, or 8 with a security patch newer than March 2017 and you don't want to do anything that voids your warranty, this is the video for you. Okay, so where do I start? Actually, I know where to start. Let's go ahead and find a spoofing app first that works on this kind of setup without doing anything to void the warranty. I call them no root style apps. I'm not sure what they're officially called. It's just something I've just been calling them throughout this whole time. Now, my favorite app is fake GPS free. But, you know, I'll also cover FGL Pro as well, since everybody seems to just have a circle jerk around that app. Now, you can get your apps wherever you want. I happen to just like my own cloned version of these, so I just end up using those the whole time. But it doesn't really matter where you get these apps from, just as long as you have an app that you trust. Okay, so there that is. I'm just going to install this app. It has a different name, but this is fake, basically just fake GPS free. All I did was change the package name and icon. Okay, so that's installed. I'm going to also go ahead and install FGL Pro as well. Let's go ahead and drag this to the home screen. Let's go to the Play Store. Let's also get FGL Pro. Not exactly my favorite app, but like I said, everybody circle jerks around this app in the spoofing community, so uh, I got to feature it at least once. Okay, let's get those two apps in line. Now, what you guys probably are most confused about is the whole downgrading Google Play services thing that's been floating around. And yeah, it is true that the newest versions of Google Play services, you just cannot use no root style apps with them. So the first thing you got to do is downgrade them. Or not downgrade the spoofing apps, downgrade Google Play services. And to do that, let's go into settings. Let's see here. Look through your apps. Go find all my apps in here. Okay, so there's Google Play Services. Most of most of you guys will probably run into this problem. You tap on uninstall updates. You press OK, and you get an error message at the bottom that says it's unsuccessful. Well, to fix that, let's go into Oh, sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead and go into security and privacy. Where are my device admin? Okay, here it is. Device admin apps. Go into there. Uncheck everything. Let's go ahead and deactivate that app. And check that. Okay. Find my device. You know, I'm just going to turn that off. What the hell? Main thing is device admin apps. You want to turn that off. Okay, so let's go back into apps. Google Play Services. Uninstall updates. And there we go. Should be all set to go.
Okay, so now that that's downgraded, we got our spoofing apps here. Let's go to our developer options. Okay, developer options, and we're looking for select mock location app, which is right here. Let's start off with fake GPS free. Get that all set up. Press back too many times, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and open up fake GPS free. Okay, if you haven't read these windows, you might want to take some time to read it. I'm just going to try to fly through them as fast as I can. Okay. Make sure no root mode is enabled. This is basically telling you that you need high accuracy mode set for your location. Almost all no root style apps need high accuracy mode, so even if it doesn't say it, set it to high accuracy mode. It's already set up there. Alrighty, accept the advertising terms, but on my clone, I already removed all the ads. Okay, let's go ahead and hop on over to everybody's favorite place that everybody circle jerks around as well, is Pier 39. Hit that play button and we should be ready to rock. Okay, sometimes your location won't come up right away, and you might have to refresh it. And there we are, at Pier 39. Huh, lots of stuff going on right now. Now with fake GPS free, some people see it as an inconvenience to have something without a joystick, but if you have split screen mode, you can move around pretty damn easily. I actually prefer this way because for me, it's actually easy to tell exactly where I'm going instead of using a stuttery joystick. It's kind of like playing on an old school Nintendo DS. If you guys are familiar with that, this should come very natural. If you guys remember, for the guys that did have a Nintendo DS, the bottom half of the screen was used as a map a lot of the times for different games. I'm just waiting for something to load around here. Ah, uh, you know what, I might as well try to get that pokey stop. There we go. Got it. Every now and then you might see this error, error 11. Sometimes it goes away on its own. Sometimes you just got to refresh the location, and then it'll just go away. Go ahead, take some waiting. If you have a faster device, it might be a lot better, because my device is actually pretty old. There we go. Might as well take this one while I'm here. Alright, let's move around a little bit more. Just so you guys can see that things are working. I think I have another video floating around this group about using this app to participate in raids and it's not really a problem at all. Okay, I think that's enough of fake GPS free. Let's go ahead and turn that off now. All of this should still work with FGL Pro, and I might as well show that off as well. Before we can use FGL Pro, we gotta go back into developer options and select FGL Pro as our mock location app. There we go. Let's go ahead and start her up. Allow. Okay. 
continue. I already downgraded. I don't know why they're telling me this, but I already downgraded. Okay. Let's mosey on over back to Pier 39. Oh, hold on. Let me take a look at the settings real quick. Okay, secure mocking. Okay, that looks good. Okay. FGL Pro, usually it does all the settings for you based on what, you are, what your system is. So you shouldn't have to change anything. Gonna hit that play button. All right. Let's reopen Pokemon Go. Now, similar to Fake GPS Free, you might see those issues with Error Eleven. All you, it's the same way to fix it. You just refresh your location. You can just move the joystick a little, and then it should be fine. Or you let the auto fix do its job. But I honestly hate the auto fix feature because sometimes it refreshes itself at a time you don't want to and it screws up your throw or it gets you kicked out of a raid. In most mm -hmm. cases, uh, I'll just automatically uh, turn off the auto fix feature just because I like to have more control over how everything's done. And that's basically it for FGL Pro. You just hold the joystick down for a certain amount of time, let go, and then it mocks your location for you. If you use this app enough, you can kind of judge the distance on how far it goes based on how long you hold down a direction. I'm honestly too lazy to deal with that. That's why I prefer the whole split screen mode thing with F with uh, fake GPS free. Oh, cool, I hatched an egg. You can also hatch an egg in fake GPS free as well, as long as you don't pick points that are too far apart. I'll just transfer this guy. All right, keep walking around just so you guys can see that it's working. As a reminder, you guys should probably cover up your in-game name or your avatar, whatever you want to call it. Cover it up because you don't want some random guy, random spy in the group to report you. This is just one of my many scouting accounts that I use to check out areas, make sure if make sure that's a place I want to spend time at and bring my main to. Now you probably noticed that there's a pop-up message that comes up every time I move the joystick. That's normal. It's been like that for I guess ever since this app was released and a lot of people always have questions about it, but it's actually a normal part of the way things work. Now if you have if, or actually, if you're willing to convert FGL Pro into a system app, you won't ever see that message come up when you use the joystick. But then this video, we're not talking about rooted methods or anything. This is just a straight up like, getting started video for the people that don't want to do anything to void the warranty. All right, hopefully that covers everything to help you guys get started. If there's something I missed, feel free to leave a comment. And that's it for today, guys. Happy spoofing. You stay safe out there.